These high school students from South King County are engaged in running a real nuclear reactor. The nuclear fuser is part of a program offering young men and women who are studying AP physics at local public high schools a chance to work with real atomic isotopes, scintillators, helium-3 neutron detectors, and other associated hardware common to a career in nuclear engineering. Further, they are learning how to perform repeatability and reliability studies to generate relevant data as a precursor to publishing their own white papers and research articles across the internet, and to understand the fundamental structure of the universe and the particles that are the building blocks of matter. Operating within a small atomic laboratory at a home in the Twin Lakes area of Federal Way, they have constructed a powerful 60,000 volt fusion machine with an electronic full castle shield weighing almost a ton. It features a liquid-cooled 6-inch, six 6-way six conflat vacuum chamber with tungsten grid. The shield is made up of 54 gallons of borated paraffin, 33 overlapping 11-inch cadmium plates, and a lead inner liner to attenuate X-ray. The vacuum system uses a two-stage belt-driven mechanical pump, Vico diffusion pump, and a cold trap chilled with two quarts of liquid nitrogen. The deuterium gas subsystem is comprised of a one liter bottle of compressed deuterium and regulator connected to a mass flow control valve and metering system. Each student is supplied with a lab coat, monthly dosimeter film badge with neutron etch, nameplate, pens, and supplies at no charge. The class meets once a week on Fridays to conduct their experiments and collaborate. During the rest of the week, they have a secure SharePoint site on the internet to work on their assignments, drafts, and research. The pilot program currently has room for only 12 students and is in its second year of actual academic operation, although several of the students have been involved in the last three years with the initial construction of the fuser. The laboratory has full video surveillance, fingerprint locks, monitoring for radiation and combustible gases, smoke, carbon monoxide, and is arranged with separate chemistry facilities, classroom and TV studio, shop and main reactor room. The chemistry lab has a plasma workstation, gamma spectroscopy workstation, electronics calibration station, and a 7-foot fume hood with HEPA filter, sink, stove, microwave oven, and OSHA-approved chemical and flammable storage cabinets. The program was authored by Carl and Lynn Greninger, who have converted their home in a variety of ways to show what can actually be done by individual families who want to turn the tide on a 30% dropout rate in public high schools. During their first year in operation, they took the top prize in technology at Washington State University's Imagine Tomorrow High School Science Competition, held on their campus in Pullman, Washington, and $10,000 in prize money. They have been recognized by the Federal Way Public School System and are receiving invitations from a number of public schools who wish to participate in their program. But beyond all this lies a deeper focus than winning science fairs, according to Mr. Greninger. He realizes that successful scientists are not focused on personal notoriety, but are in fact on a journey of discovery. Beyond mere academic knowledge, there lies a world of experiential understanding that comes from a hands-on relationship with quantum tunneling and the world of fusion. Although the Farnsworth Fuser is over 50 years old, it still offers a unique opportunity to observe sustained nuclear fusion in an environment where the principle of uncertainty and collateral radiation can be measured with respect to temperature, vacuum, fuel, and structure. Rigorous parametric sweeps of this data will allow us to construct three-dimensional models 
of fusion reactions with precision not found in most other studies because of the reaction duration, cost, repeatability, and reliability at these lower energies. The challenge of quantifying the unknown has captivated the students and is drawing them into an experience with science that transcends the boundaries of age and scholastic achievement. The students are learning that their individual contributions to the effectiveness of the team, no matter how large or small, are essential to the team's success and that personal recognition pales in comparison to the success of the team when real contributions to science are at stake. These young students have been coming each Friday night to Mr. Greninger's house for the last two years on their own time and on their own time to participate in what may well be the country's only nuclear engineering program for public high school students offering a working fusion reactor.